The 11th summit of the Asia Europe meeting launched on July 15th in Ulaanbaatar city of Mongolia as it took up a right to host this summit at the previous summit of ASEM held in Milan city in 2014. The present summit is special for coinciding with the 20th anniversary of ASEM, which affiliates 53 states of the Asian and European continents. Its 11th summit has brought together over 5,000 delegates from 51 ASEM member states and two international organizations. We are continuing our coverage from Shangri-La Hotel, where the 11th ASEM summit is going on. The first ever event taking place is uh, the President of Mongolia is greeting esteemed guests. Ten countries are taking part at the level of head of state, 23 at the level of head of government, 17 countries at the ministerial level without mentioning two international organizations. Observers expect from the summit more consolidated cooperation between Asia and Europe, directions of which are set to determine here. In particular, it is seen that Mongolia will catch this unique chance to demonstrate more clearly its advantages of its geographical location, promising to have strategic importance of connecting the two continents. As we can see, European states are showing greater vitality than at the previous meetings. From Europe, the summit is joined by German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Russian Prime Minister Medvedev, Prime Ministers of Scandinavian countries from France, we can see here the French Foreign Minister, along with them high-ranking officials from the European Union and the ASEAN came to Ulaanbaatar's summit. The Asian continent is represented by Park Geun-hye, President of the Republic of Korea, Premier of the State Council of China, Li Keqiang, Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, and heads of the state and government of other Asian Asian countries. Japan, for instance, is reportedly to focus more on anti-terrorism issues.